Something huge has happened in the Call of Dragons community where some of the biggest accounts in the game have just dis disappeared. Even if you check the leaderboards of 32, there you'll see some names missing from the video that we created a couple days ago when passes opened. Hey what's up guys, it's Gaming here and I thought I'd create a video about the payment loophole, what it was and what it did, the impacts that it had on, on the game, and I guess my overall thoughts on the whole situation as it is now. I learned about this about like maybe less than 24 hours ago. Um, where a bunch of players, I think in the beginning of today, a bunch of players started disappearing from the personal power leaderboards. Shortly thereafter, there was an announcement by Rusty Leo on Discord, fixing the payment loophole. Dear Lords, recently we found certain Lords obtaining bundles through illegal means while the loophole has been fixed now. While analyzing the issue, we've received clues from many warm-hearted Lords. Thanks to your efforts in helping us fix the loophole in time. Your contribution to the fair gaming environment will be long engraved in Tamaris. For a fair gaming environment, we will immediately permanently suspend the accounts of 65 players who maliciously use the loophole to cause serious impact. Also, for other lords using the loophole, their illegal resources and items will be deducted, including from those bundles. Inefficient resources or items will be deducted to negative numbers. Damn! <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing that's where some of these accounts went. Permanently suspending accounts of 65 players who maliciously use a loophole to cause serious impact. Which is insane. Huge kudos to the developers. I'm sure the issue has been swirling around in the community, but I personally learned about it within the last 24 hours. And I woke up today and they were already making implementing a solution to the problem so from my understanding how this payment scam would work is people would buy bundles through middleman this middleman would offer bundles for a fraction of the price in this particular example sent by ab to beast this middleman was offering to buy a full max bundle for 50 dollars which is insane as it would usually cost 385 dollars to max a bundle buying the bundle at 13 percent of the cost which is insane! <laughs> Imagine buying bundles for 13% of the cost! People were abusing this to max their accounts super super fast, getting seemingly unlimited amounts of gems, you know, just freely gemming out as many universal artifact keys, as many gold keys as they wanted, creating a super unfair advantage to play against. People with these accounts were able to push events endlessly, winning the strongest lord, um, having unlimited T5 troops, it was just super, super suppressing to play against, especially for some of the alliances in this uh, server 32 who had to play against the people that, that got banned. This hack or scam was able to continue, it would really challenge the competitive integrity of the game, which eventually would be super frustrating for the players playing. Here's a highlight of a stream I had with AB to Beast earlier. Because I've been actually getting a lot of questions about it while I was playing Rise of Kingdoms about our thoughts of you know, what's going on with Call of Dragon stuff, what's going on in Server 32, what's going on with all the whales just di disappearing from the map, getting Thanos snapped Dude, practically, man. right? So... Um, pretty much. That's pretty much what happened. So, I mean, I can dive right into it. I mean, pr pretty much since day one, like, the top two whales, like Cigar King and uh, the other dude, it was just very blatant that they were cheating. Nobody in any mobile game grows that much uh, in, in such a short period of time, and it's very obvious that they were doing it by just gemming stuff. Just like gemming all the techs, uh, gemming all their troops, and, and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And especially during the MG, that's when it was most blatant, because uh, yeah. actually the, the Chinese whale and the other um, alliance is actually my friend, and uh, he was supposed to win top spot, but he actually told me that uh, the top Vietnamese guy was straight up gemming mana to Bruh. get troops <laughs> to beat him. But basically, he had the, abil the ability to do that because he had like over um, $150,000 worth of gems on his account for under three grand USD. Wait, so wait, 150 thousand dollars worth of gems on his account? $150,000 worth of gems for. 300 wait 30 usd or three for like three, three, grand. Grand. three grand yeah oh my gosh that's crazy so that's why he was able to do that and that's why they had so much power um and also like he also did this on like multiple alt accounts um there's like probably five alt accounts that he made in total and he did the same exact thing mm -hmm. um for example like one of his alt accounts um on the first day of power day and within 15 minutes he went from like 
uh, I think it was like 13 mil all the way to T5. Just because he, he didn't even wait for help, so he didn't do anything. He just straight up gemmed all the buildings, all the research immediately. Because why not when you have 27 million gems on your account? So I guess the whole thing is like, how did this even come to be? Like, like it was kind of sketch, right? That they're gaining that much power. Like maybe they're like multi-billionaires just putting all their wealth into Call of Dragons, but... Even guess... then, it's like... So, so it's like, okay, let's just say they're freaking Bill Gates. What value do you get by straight up just buying straight gems and like over $150,000 worth of it on your account? And then doing it on a bunch of other accounts. What value do you get? Is it really worth that much just to get a max account? It really affected our family in a very terrible manner because not only were we fighting against the top Chinese Imperium Kingdom and the Chinese server, yeah, but we were also fighting against these guys as well uh, on a different front and it was detrimental to the kingdom. And I, I see you're looking at the rankings right now. We went from like yeah. 37 <laughs> T5s uh -huh. down to like 20 something. And it's insane how many people got banned in this. It season. was pretty crazy that, um, like, I remember this morning, right? There were just a bunch of people that was like, bro, I literally went up, like, 20 spots in yeah. the power rankings. Like, everyone Absolutely. collectively went up 20 spots. I'm like, I definitely was not 136 this morning, like, yesterday, or 141 yeah. yesterday, so. Um, yeah, so, I mean, so before yesterday, we were fighting against 27 T5s in total. Yeah. And now it is down to 16. So 12 T5 accounts are practically, you know, uh, affected. Again, uh, unfortunately, this cheating thing really had a big thing to do with our failure. Um, the Vietnamese guys opening another front was a really big issue because our original plan was to go full force into Darlin with all of our family alliances, and we were only able to do it with like half. Okay. So that's one thing. But also, there were definitely some Chinese players that got banned as well. Oh. Or abusing this. Oh, really? Didn't help. Uh, yeah, so it was both sides. Um, the Vietnamese guys were abusing it a lot more than Chinese, don't get me wrong, but uh, it was still happening. Um, and none of us were doing it. So that's the thing is we're playing completely fair. Nobody here is abusing um, any illegal activities like that, and we're just going against it. So not only is it demoralizing for members, but they're also questioning why are we playing this game? Why are we spending our own money? Why are we spending tens of hundreds of dollars or uh, like thousands of dollars on this game to just go against cheaters who can get 20 times the value for like 400 bucks, right? Yeah, so, yeah. I remember there's a like a lot. huge sentiment about like, imagine spending like 15K of your own money or whatever K of yeah. your own money. And, and then you're and just I fighting told Lilith, people. Yeah. I, I told, when I was talking to the devs, I told them exactly that. We are your highest spending group. And, and we are dying because this is a thing because oh, we were just okay. we were getting punished so hard like we were in voice chat until like i was in voice chat until like 8 a.m and <laughs> oh i God. and that is why like i have screenshots of the seller and stuff like that because well first of all um i was relaying all the information from the seller to directly to the devs mm -hmm. i actually made an alt account um bought from the seller I actually scammed him but uh we can talk about that later um i have a video that plato can show later of the gem seller like the before and after of what the gem seller did on my account mm -hmm. and uh so he basically match max purchased an entire bundle on my account for 50 bucks usd so that is 385 dollars worth of value for 50 bucks for 50 bucks and that was a high price because it was only 50 bucks but for example let's just say you want to spend 400 bucks you can get a hundred dollar bundle for four dollars so i was actually able to talk to this guy and I convinced them to max purchase the entire shop and give us 2.1 million gems for $364. Holy That's crap. That's basically enough for T5. That's for 400 bucks. For 400 bucks. Because I, I was just thinking, because like, I, it's hard for me to really compare value. Um, Because I don't really know exactly. Sure, I'll, I'll put it this way. It's over $37,000 worth of bundles. Yeah, okay. Like, of value. No, because I, I, even the four bucks, a hundred dollar bundle for four bucks, that means you're only buying the bundles for four percent of its actual cost. I know it's insane. So, but that was actually a thing. I thought you guys were like smoke, like uh, you know, having a, a huge bit of copium. Like it's just like mm -hmm. ah, yeah, we lost the copium. Yeah. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Um, 
but then yeah it's just like wow there's actually like accusations and then like you're sharing your screen oh no you, it was during your stream actually that i watched and then you like that's you, right yeah you were in there and I yeah yeah, like, yeah. and then you, i saw everything like oh this is legit this is like a legit accusation so yeah 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 absolutely um and i'll give you the timeline of kind of how things unfolded basically three or four days ago we kind of really were like okay this is like we got 110 percent proof mm -hmm. uh we reached out to the devs the devs said this isn't happening um and it basically <laughs> it's yeah, like ah, oh, you, you guys you guys are just like guessing it's like yeah, yeah, yeah you lost like, you're salty <laughs> exactly um <laughs> then they kind of really started realizing okay wait this is actually urgent mm -hmm. like this is actually a serious issue that can kill the game and that's like uh multiple people sent pretty aggressive messages to them yeah. as well to kind of get their attention for sure um and then once that happened within probably i'd say a day and a half they were able to fix the issue completely that being said we were all talking about do we really want to stick with this game if if the devs are allowing this to happen mm -hmm. after this i'm i'm dude i love these devs <laughs> like stuff, stuff in rise of kingdoms doesn't get fixed this fast like one and a half days to solve an issue this big that can kill the entire game that's that's crazy so well, I guess like, what, what did they do to solve it? Like what, what they banned, I know they banned 65 players and then I think it said that they m subtracted the inventory of all the people that, that took part of the scam or whatever. Is yeah, it... so from what I know, uh, I don't know anyone who got subtracted stuff. Mm -hmm. Everyone involved has been banned. Okay. And actually the ban isn't completely over. It will continue for a little bit, so they're just still like finding is... individuals and stuff like it's still yeah, ongoing yeah. it's still oh, slightly so... ongoing so if you didn't get banned yet you're not safe you're you know they're still yeah, looking yeah. for you <laughs> i should actually check my alt account i'm sure it got banned because that's the account i used to report yeah. essentially like the stage right now is that they're trying to create or like show that they're legit like they're they're like you know it's like a legitimate game um the competitive integrity <sighs> of the game is super super important because that's why people play the game in the first place right so it's just yeah, like exactly um you want to make sure that's intact especially in the start because the start is going to be like you know it kind of makes or breaks a, a, a title 